Oh. 1090. Good. Good matchup for me. Not so good for him. Chaos. Chaos team. Um. He's rushing. He's level 12. He's got this skill. Is this diving tackle? Jump up it is. Ah, oh, he jump. He's playing the long game. I mean, that, look, that's 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 valid, isn't it? Playing the long game with them. Um, he's won one, lost two. Looking good. Four hundred and eight. <laughs> right, thank you, Tony. Simeon obviously superior, no way. Yeah, yeah, there you go, BZL. So you're basically getting a third of the amount of block if you take and if you take chaos. So yeah, that wouldn't be good, would it? Dumb and wrong. Should be all fat. <laughs> Feel bad for not criticizing first words on pro. Is that valid? Um, all right, it's dumb and wrong. <laughs> it's uh. <laughs> jump up first skill is valid right because what happens is it means your team is worse until <laughs> it's jump up mighty blow is worse than mighty blow claw jump up mighty blow claw is worse than mighty blow piling on but then when you've got four skills jump up mighty blow claw piling on is probably better than block mighty blow claw piling on so the jump up pays off when they get to like 51, don't they, right? So, <laughs> if you're okay, I'll tell you when it's valid. I'll tell you when it's valid. It's um, it's valid in one of these leagues like OCC or UKBBL. Then it, then it is valid. Because your first 100 games don't matter in those formats. So, but um, I would never do it. Of course, I would never, ever, I would never, ever, ever, ever take jump up first skill, or before piling on, in fact. But, um, no, he was just taking his time. He got Borak, and a reroll, and a babe instead of a wizard. Thank God for that. <laughs> Looking at your team and stopping quietly. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hello, super mega ultra VIP last frogman. Yeah, I mean, I would never, ever take jump up, but first skill, or even before piling on. Um, but, you know, yeah, I would take block. <laughs> That's first skill, block a mighty blow. I would, until, until I had piling on, I wouldn't take jump up, personally. I guess you could say it's more valid if he's already got my, block mighty blow claw. And then he could take jump up and then piling on the next one. But even then, I'll read, I never would. But you can't just say it's categorically wrong, can you? There's nothing you can say is... Well, I guess Diamond Catcher could say it's categorically wrong. But he's choosing to have a worse team for, like, you know, 40 games to have a better team after 41 games, which... It's not a decision I'd make, but... It's a decision nonetheless, isn't it? Yeah, which is free, exactly. Nerves of Steel is, is, is good on the on Pro Elf Catchers because it's free. Wouldn't fucking take it on a double for a... anybody. <laughs> for an anybody. Right. The catcher gets to just stay on the bench now, doesn't he? Because fuck, fuck dying. Nah, I can make the dodges blitzable because it's like blodge, isn't it? Five point guy gets protected. <laughs> Fair enough, Fash. <laughs> no, <Nari. laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't take it as a normal on anybody, yeah, but it is very handy when you get it for free, yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> yeah, Puppy 81. It's the first natural one turn I've ever had online as well, including Fumble. But then I haven't played. I haven't played much Skaven, to be fair. Yeah. I haven't played a lot of Skaven, so. Or maybe I'd have a one turn one get on Fumble. Okay, I will do. I'll <laughs> I will do, Fash. What what game is this? Is this the is this the eight, eight, game number eight for the Woody, Wood Elves? I'll write it down, just for you, Fash, and <laughs> just for you. I'll write it down on a piece of paper. <laughs> Woody's game eight. Jump up is shit and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah, what do, you, what do you think? Yeah, I don't like pass block on what is now. Yeah, Borak must always wonder why. Yeah, he's, he never ever plays for a good team, does he? Poor old Lord Borak. He's like the best Chaos Warrior ever. Well, not really, because he hasn't got claws. But you know what I mean? Like he's a fucking badass, and he's strength five, and he's a dirty player with mighty blow, which is which is better in the old rules. He used to be leader as well. He used to be ridiculous. He used to be absolutely fucking ridiculous because he was one hundred and fifty k to buy, and it was, you know, so he was he was just cheaper than he was cheaper than a warrior and a reroll, <laughs> and he gave you the leader, and he had mighty blow and, and dirty players, so he would just foul people. You get plus three. On the armor and plus three on the injury on both. That's how good Mighty Blonde Dirty Player was in the old rules. Third ed. Ridiculous. Um sometime for sometime. Sometime. I, I can do giveaways now, so I can do giveaways for fucking keys. I've got loads of keys as well. They were very generously donated, but um Yeah, can do sometime. Took Shawnee's soul. <laughs> Where's Shawnee, by the way? Yeah, it's suboptimal, yeah. Wow, Lona reroll. Don't use. You have to get the tree. Just had to. It's a shame for him that Borat can't block and foul, isn't it? A leap goat, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Some people. Because he thinks he can get fucking very long legs, doesn't he? I guess is what he's thinking. Yes, Kalistan, um, unbelievably well, to be honest. He has jump up. <laughs> She's there. Uh... <laughs> An agility four leap goat with uh, with very long legs would be would be all right, wouldn't it? Leaping on twos, but it's valid. <laughs> it's valid. <laughs> But yeah, I, w I would never take jump up first. Hey, pseudo blodge doing its thing. Ah, you'd like to be blocked, I see. It's funny how people just think wood elves are soft. Must base. Wow, Rando GFI. I guess that's a big, big thing that new players do wrong, isn't it? You could have just been there and still protected the ball, but just did that GFI. Put himself at risk. Just a block him, block him, blitz him. 
just dodge away from there. Couldn't even dodge, couldn't even blitz through here, couldn't I? Well, I guess, hmm. I'm not sure I want to stand him up to get hit by Bora, to be honest, but okay then. Four rolls, all right then. Don't like giving up this mighty blow blitz here, but mighty blow blitz, mighty blow block. through here seems useful. Right. Interesting. Yeah, that's true, Fash. Giving them free block. But then you sometimes have to give them free blocks, don't you? You really do have to sometimes. Obviously, with a tree up, that would be much better. Luckily for me, he's not making that a three by doing the other one first. I have made that mistake before with playing people like that. <laughs> oh god, if games. I don't know, I was just I was just born that way, I guess. <laughs> just lucky. <laughs> um, you know, I've made that mistake before, Fash, of thinking the only way people can the only way I can lose is through cars, and then I've like I've focused on like, you know, say obviously different against than against Chaos. But um I've focused on like a rat ogre on a Ka on a Skaven team because I think the only way I can lose is through cars. And then obviously they've got gut runners and they do some bullshit with the gut runners. But yeah, I guess in this case, in this actual particular case, he hasn't got gut runners. So yeah, pro probably safe to say that Kaz is the only way. Would he foul with his dirty player? Uh, probably not, because he's he's <laughs> he's too good at just being a badass, isn't he? Exposing the war dance and maybe wasn't smart, was it? He's on seven. Could have been our raid. Really, really need the tree to stand up next turn, otherwise Borak might foul with dirty player. Yeah, that is that is. You can lose any game, indeed, you can. Yeah. Indeed, Bezio. Yeah. Yeah, anything can happen in Blood Bowl. Hmm. Defended the ball this turn. Anyway, he did. He did quite a good turn there, I think.
Yeah, he took a re-roll and a babe. Which, like, I don't, I don't even hate that because... Right, scoring threat that can't get marked. Four, eight. Yeah. When I say can't get marked, can't get blitzed into another block. Obviously, you can get marked. Herp dirt, base, base, base. Safe move first here. Outrageous. Howdy, howdy. Stun there on the warrior is pretty good, isn't it? Worth a dodge out here. If I go here, I can kind of protect him from the foul. Like at least a little bit. But he might he might move Boric in for the foul here, might he? I never am. <laughs> yeah, the wizard isn't even that good for him, but yeah, I would take it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Borok is very sensible, yeah. Borok and Wiz, yeah. I'd, I'd go Borok and Wiz if I was him. Into probably turn one. <laughs> Fireball, foul, conceit. <laughs> really pushing forward so if he fouls this war dancer he's just completely fucking himself now not even in range is he to score you can just uh, get in his way a bit don't have to do any dodging dodgy dodginess Ripper's really good, yeah. I hate, I hate the uh, saw. Yeah, that's true for Augustus. Like, plus movement's nice, but they're just tackle strip ball guys. They're just normal. It's not like there's a mighty blow tackler or anything. Oh. Oh, we stacked them as well. Naughty boy. Naughty boy, you stacked them. Come on, tree, stand up. Not even dead. I 
I just have to dodge away from these three this turn. Safe moves first! And that is the end of the safe moves. Like, literally the end. He can assist, but who can blitz? GFI from him. Dodge from him. So me dodge from him as soon as he doesn't want to get splattered anyway. Don't want him to get punched by Borak. Canoring threat. I think he's all right where he is, isn't he? Just dodge with dodge. Because if it reverses, um can just move around anyway, can't I? In fact, I could screen here on the catcher. Maybe it's that lineman should have just gone here actually to keep the screen, keep these three out of it. Now these two could go make GFIs get somewhere. prefer it to not be down. Yeah, exactly, Wolf Bar. Um, Lude Grip. I actually, I don't hate Lude Grip. I, and I'll tell you why I don't hate Lude Grip. Um, he is value for his money. Now, obviously, you would never build him that way. But he is worth it. That is not worth it. You would never build him that way, but he's cheaper than he would cost to build. Whereas most of them are way more expensive than they would cost to build. And if you're playing Wood Elves, you might just want that, that shoe of hands, you know? And actually, uh, do you remember when I was down loads of TV against uh, Skaven with Chaos one one time? And uh, his tentacles, his strength three tentacles, were actually game game deciding. So yeah, you can do stuff. Uh, Six three three nine is his. He's like a Chaos Marauder star. He's not actually a Chaos Warrior star. Grashnak isn't bad, no. It's like I like getting this guy here, but if he'd been there, these two would have been both kept out, wouldn't they? A bit. I guess they'd still got to here. Mm -hmm. Double ones this GFI is done, isn't he? It's game over. Oof. Wow, there was a double there was a double one that you should have got on the GFI.
Can he hand off score here? No. Yeah, he can. He could hand off score. I don't know where he's going to put the ball. Interesting. Dice push or uphill dice push could leap in for a 2d leap for a 2d is all right isn't it i guess he could three dice him he could two dice him he could go there for the assist whatever happens um and then he could run around one two three four five six seven eight gfi but then i'd have to cancel an assist out there one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So th I think this is the play then, right? <laughs> so three dice from the tree. And the push, which looked like it would be no good, actually grab does something. Grabs him over there. Oh shit, my plan was to dodge through this gap, but the gap isn't there, is it? Because he's there. So maybe just a 2 plus out there. Do the GFI first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 GFI. Do the dodge first, then I'll know if I've got GFIs left. Right, so now I think the GFI is the better play because I've got the team reroll for it. I'm in danger of getting served here, aren't I? Double surf and stuff. Two GFIs. No, I think a three plus. Oh, it's just a two plus dodge. All oh, that. That's not a not a decision then. Howdy, howdy. Shame that I had to use the scoring threat, isn't it? To do all that. Ah, double one. Snakes, chuckles.
that's a shame because obviously if I'd recovered and just got the ball, he probably wouldn't have served the war dancer. Whereas now, he's probably going to serve the war dancer. <laughs> Yeah, the story's 130, yeah. Hmm. Oh, two tackle zones. Yeah, the Borak, the Borak knockdown was amazing. Also, he stood Borak up, so Borak could get surfed next turn. Possibility. He's obviously just surfing the water then, so... Oh, fucking hell. Do not use. Might be able to surf me anyway. <laughs> fucking hell. Can surf the catcher then. Maybe that wasn't worth it. Like, it'd be worth it in the playoffs, but maybe in just a random game, maybe it wasn't worth it against somebody who got such a high TV advantage against. Maybe I shouldn't do that again. I mean, I've got to think that I'm going to win this game, whatever happens, haven't I? So, yeah, my position and all that stuff. Well, at least he managed to not surf anymore. That was nice of him. Zero assist value, can't follow the order into that. Right. <laughs> good, good go for the ball, right, sir, but I guess not. He could stand up, he could block him, he could block him, and he could. Run around, but maybe he should just run around anyway. And blitz him with block. Or run around to here, and uh, it's just one dice. So he could go in there, he could stand up, he could blitz him, get a chain, and then see what happens. There, isn't it? So stand him up. Oh, he could do it. But then ugh, I want to move the tree in there first. The tree could go in there. And then could block him to chain him out. Line like one in one in, but then the dodge is a one in 36, and this is a one in 81, isn't it? So, all right, 
why, but now <laughs> that the reroll is gone, that becomes a one in nine. So dodging the war dancer becomes better. Right, he can just get it and then dodge out and pass it to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, don't like giving up these blocks, but what can you do? What range is he? Can only base. This is seventy five per cent dodge. Now these are better. Didn't want him jammed up against the sideline. Just in time. <laughs> Made some two plus rolls impossible. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic Bobblehead toys. Oh, is it sunny? <laughs> oh, that was fully Narian then, wasn't it? <laughs> I didn't I didn't notice it was sunny. It's something that I never ever ever look for because I never ever ever pass. Though of course now that I've got these, um Now that I've got these, uh Maybe I should have to look. <laughs> John Tull's too good. Never ever ever pass. No, nah, well, it was a GFI or pass, wasn't it? So I thought the GFI was better. It was better than GFI because I got star player pants and can't die. But of course, if I'd realised it was a three plus, I would have probably done the GFI. Wow, well, nearly jelly all. Um, I think all the stars are in Blood Bowl too. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's not capitals, I'm sure. You're doing LBR twice, you've done LBR twice, Julia. <laughs> uh, no, he's got no sound. <laughs> no, I don't know what's going on. It's so horrible. <laughs> it's so horrible having to play what else. Holy shit. <laughs> They're a disgusting team, aren't they? I don't know whether it's, no, I can't. I can't. I'm not going to score and turn him over in two. So I just think minimize Borak hits is the way forward now. Just run away. <laughs> LBR six. Living bull rook. Yeah, I have to stall it out, don't I? Because then he gets less blocks. Overall. Also, failing this one in 36 wouldn't have wouldn't have dropped the ball. Go one forward. 
No, don't. <laughs> Okay, ward answer away first because he's the most important. Well, we roll, I think. Have we got them? Yeah, might as well re roll. It's actually pretty decent because it does screen off the war dancer where it, there was a hole there, wasn't there? Cower behind the tree. Yeah, bench. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not right, Charlie. <laughs> I know that was a bit fucking bit ballsy. Maybe I shouldn't have left him blitzable. I should have. I, well, I definitely should have done. Shouldn't have done. I think. Yeah, on the sideline, one turn. Good afternoon, little Baz. Maybe BZL, but I've only had a two turn, two turns to turn him over. Um, he would have got an extra mighty blow hit. Well, he'd have got more blocks, wouldn't he? So I thought minimizing blocks this way. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jelly. Might just hit the tree, mightn't he, here? Unfortunately, he couldn't run the tree away. Yeah, to be honest, if I'd had three turns left, I would have thought about, I would have thought about scoring, but with only two, I thought, wasn't going to get the turn over. But I do have movement 9 and movement 10 on the team, so maybe would have done. <laughs> also, there'd be more chance of a concession victory if I was 2-0 up at half-time. So maybe that should have factored into the decision as well. This castle level is warrior. Didn't even die. Didn't even die. I don't know, Pedro. I don't know if they've announced anything. Has anyone read the fucking rules? Probably not. I know I haven't. for a blots. Oh god, last reroll used.
Oops, that's the wrong square. <laughs> yeah, he is nice fellow side. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, first first game was versus Ducky. Um <laughs> such a mental database of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Um, Woody's half fast, yeah. Woody's are really fast as well when they've got <laughs> when they've got the fastest guy on the bench. <laughs> but when they've got uh, yeah more catches and I mean he's like an extra plus, it's like a plus strength catcher and stuff, isn't he? Cheaper. No rules changes. Thanks, Jelly Deals. I'm surprised you didn't go for the uh, Borak Blitz. Could make a three dice block with block. That's a little bit greedy, isn't it? Not 1-0 up, so let's not do that. That's really fucking boring, though, not to make a three dice. What's he on? Ten. Can't even get three with him anyway. Three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I shouldn't do it. It's ten moving fast. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty fast. <laughs> uh, one in two hundred and sixteen. Yeah, I think it's probably, but it might be a Kaz, mightn't it, which would help us in the second half. So, like, if it was nil nil on turn sixteen, definitely wouldn't do it. But there's a chance of getting a Kaz from it, isn't there? there even there'd be a chance of a Surf, to be fair. If, I'd, if I had a re-roll, I might have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Make the 3D get a punish. I'll <laughs> win it. Flash is coming. I guess it's not worth it. It's got to win. Yeah, can't. Had had to make sure that was the real with a re-roll I'd have done it obviously three dice there but not even well two dice with block and three dice with block but wouldn't do a three dice without even so I can go for a quick score here Inarian style and then um, yeah exactly jelly old <laughs> it was absurd yeah <laughs> yeah man flash safe it's it's. It's blood ball, isn't it? Done nothing to him. Thank God only a badly hurt. This team's pretty resilient as well, isn't it? Bizarrely, seeing as people are getting star players and stuff. I guess they haven't got mighty blow though, naturally. Because it's the first few games. Ah, oh, Harry Koo wants to make a pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, PCO. Well, let's not let's not be nasty. But I was watching him where somebody made a two dice block with block with a reroll available, and he was like, "Too risky that." <laughs> and I think he was just salty because he was losing or wasn't winning. I think he was still winning or drawing maybe at the time. I think he was just a salty remark. So, but I just thought it was funny how he was, and I was like, I I, I think I was, and I and I was in chat and I was like, everyone everyone in, in the world would make that block. Because it wasn't in Champs out of Finals. If Champs out of Finals, you don't make it. But it wasn't the end of the game. I think it's, if at the end of the game, you know, and the game's on the line, it's 1 1, and it's turn 16, you obviously don't make a 1 in 12 9 6 roll because you just take the win, don't you? Um, in Champs Ladder. Not in Champs Ladder. In, in, in the champion 
cup playoffs, you would absolutely not take up that risk. But if it's a normal random game, fuck it, you might you might get star player points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a true TLC. But you know, he was he was salty, so I don't want I don't want to keep bringing it up. I'm a nice guy now, isn't it? He's, I think he was just salty. And that's why he argued about it. <laughs> it just made me chuckle. <laughs> it's pretty risky though. That's pretty risky, J5. <laughs> I don't want him to think that I'm just ripping the piss out of him, but it just I just thought it was a bit wrong. Because I, I do believe that, you know, everybody who plays would have would have done the thing that he did. The guy the, the thing the guy that he was playing did. I just think as a, but you know, looking back he's probably just salty, wasn't he? God knows I've been salty before and and timed people out and banned people and stuff, so no, fair enough. Maybe I should change the title of that, eh? Just beat him up. Just beat him up on the LOS. <laughs> Why not? Oh man, just to make it more more annoying, he's the one who's disguised as a catcher. He's got dodge. I guess I'm not going to score quickly because I don't know how. Ah, next to reroll, brilliant. That's what I need. I've only got a quick snap, the tree could have blitzed uh, Borak, that would have been good. Pretty annoying this because I'd like to put him there, but then I'd like to keep the warrior based. I guess I, I guess I just don't get to keep the warrior based. No, it was a three plus pass, wasn't it? Forgot. Yeah, I might get a thrower actually, yeah. Yes, Mr. John, I was pretty lucky to be honest. I was pretty fucking lucky. Though I did do a nice chain push, I think. But uh, mostly lucky.
What did he do on the movement guy in his levels? Nah, he's 40. 40, not 48. Sounds like a country western song. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so many shots that have to cannibalise themselves. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Oh, he powers me, Blodger. At least it wasn't the war dancer. He could have hit the war dancer then as well. Stuff. Two TDs and an MVP, yeah. I mean, he'll, he'll get them eventually, won't he? The, I, I'm going to try and not score on him, though. Yeah, he's not. He wants to skill up his own guys. I guess he's realised he's lost. And just wants to skill his guys up. Which is, which is fair, isn't it? After all, he has taken. <laughs> he has taken jump up first, so you know you know he likes skilling people up. Right, so he can use his full movement to power him. And he could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of sideline cage going on. It'd be better to try and knock this guy down first. Now I have to make a dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. And it's no GFI, which is better, isn't it? I don't want to make a GFI. No. Can always try to get forward next turn. Just put him in the scoring range. <laughs> Put him in then one dice. Better than dodging, isn't it? Oh, I could have re-rolled it, I'd fall. Fuck. Oh, well. Shit. Had four re-rolls, didn't realise. Egypt. Must be TLC. I imagine. I imagine so. 
Might even be top of the ladder if I win this one. Yeah, a lot of people do think and doubles are mandatory. I think that is the true, yeah. I feel like that. So, but, uh, but to be fair though, you think that, but then a lot of people are just like, but it's a double. Like you say, you know, I should take guard or block. And they're like, but it's a double. I've got to use it. I've got to take strong arm. strong arm strength as well. I've got to take pass. <laughs> got to take pass on my white. <laughs> Need a leap tree. Yeah, it does feel like it, doesn't it? But I mean, he's the he's the one of the skillless wood elves. Obviously, the skillless ones get put on the LOS more and take more hits. Can switch sides pretty well next turn if he uh, if he commits more to this stopping this push. Gonna move around the other side. Yeah, thirty bob fits, yeah. Gotta take nerves of steel on my girl, yeah. Well I mean that's fair because you take guard, but um I think pass on, on white doubles is the worst thing. And then they take strong arm on normals. Uh, he could have surfed, but he would have had to have uh, made a made some kind of dodges, wouldn't he? Which wasn't wasn't easy for him. Oh, that was a dodge, didn't realise. Whoops. What a shit cunt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and get to there. Get in movement ten. <laughs> what a fuckhead. <laughs> and so dumb. I guess make this dodge first, so I couldn't even re-roll it. Guess you can still surf him there though, shit. That wasn't very smart, was it? This makes it harder to surf him. 
Don't want to root the tree. But having said that, this is in a better spot, isn't it? So might as well get him to a better space. Even if he might root doing it, because I plan on scoring soon anyway. It's stupid that I just moving the whole team over the other side. Fucking hell. Because I'm trying to roll without, you know, trying to score as easily as possible without rolling dice, basically, BCL. Um, first turn, I didn't make a breakthrough. Second turn, I could have pushed down the side, but it was... I got the ball down. If I'd rolled the power, I would have, uh, I would have pushed down that side. Um, but with only, with getting the ball down, I didn't want to push, make it risky. I just, I'm trying to just make it as safe as possible, you know. Rather than Inari going as fast as possible, and I'm trying to go as safe as possible. Like that the catcher can just scot. <laughs> Obviously, really want to get it on on this catcher. Probably shouldn't have given it to him. Probably should have passed it to him. And then he could have made the handoff to skill him. Catcher first, obviously. You want to get the catcher to uh, to block, and then he's then he's usable, isn't he? Without a block, he's he's too much of a liability, I think. And then. Uh, then yeah, I guess he could get a second one, couldn't he? He's just sort of a long way away, though, isn't he? I guess two skills on the catcher, and then and then think about these. But they're, they're gonna, you know, I'm just not too bothered about kind of targeting targeting the star player points because they can all they can all randomly get stuff, can't they? It is very funny, but I mean, I could have handed off. But yeah, no, I don't want to pass, no. The only, the only one that wanted to pass with him, to level him, and obviously, on the, uh, oh, man, he finally blitzed with block. Oh, it didn't take it. <laughs> Glorious. He finally blitzed with his block mighty blow and, and got the, the board down and then just didn't take it. Classic. Only bits to play kids left. Oh man, two hundred, two, two, two hundred thousand. I nearly said two hundred, then that would that wouldn't have been the right amount. We're still on goblins. We're still on goblins. Running like twenty thousand for goblins. Goblins. So obviously just going to swing back around the other side now. Pivot around the tree. In fact, the tree can just go in for the assist here, can't he? In fact, the tree could blitz. No, let's not go crazy. Tree would have broken down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If he dodges away, he can make that assist. 
which means he can screen off the cage. Oof. Fuck. Huh. Really wanted a power there so that, uh, that guy could have just gone forward one two three four five six seven and again protect protect the good guys now it's two gfis to protect the good guys fails dies Shit, did not protect the good guys. Because he's a dodge. He's a dodge, uh... He's a dodge, uh... What are they? I probably didn't need to do it either, did I? He's got a GFI to hit them anyway. Keep my apple for that. Yeah, great job protecting the guy. He, he, he did the opposite, didn't he? <laughs> he did the opposite. I don't know, he's not hitting with mighty blow. He's not fouling. I can protect my good guys after this turn. I didn't hate that apple. I wonder if elf turf would have saved us there. Elf grass. Nine, yeah, it would have still, still would have happened. Oh shit, is he gonna foul with Borak? Just a GFI to foul with Bora. I think I go up 2 0 this turn, then and then, and then hide. Yeah, I could have served the warrior, I guess. But, yeah. Probably shouldn't have made those GFIs. I didn't know he was going to die though, did I? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about a TLC. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to GFI that much to make it worth it. With a one-turner. I mean, the one-turner against most people shouldn't have to score one turn, should he? It's only going to be against the likes of Ducky and... Uh, you know, Spartaco or whatever. Oh, shit. My toe's leaking. After this game, I'm gonna have to put put a new dressing on. No. <laughs> there you go. Up or up or a guy. Next next turn, someone dies. Ugh. Just after I look down to one block elf now, after sacking the other ones. Fuck's sake. Can he just run around to here? <laughs> yeah, he can. <laughs> That's so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> oh god. 
That's why I did the block though instead of the dodge. Just quietly. And why he didn't dodge out to do it. Not bad. Right, leveled him. Right, just need to not concede two. <laughs> while protecting the good players. Shouldn't be too bad. He's leveled up. Now I'm less likely to die. A strength two though. Yeah, sandwich chaos, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Grindel. That that's what I'm gonna take to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, he had block. He's on ten star play points as well, so completion and an MVP and he would have uh, he would have got the blodge. So it wasn't wasn't ideal. But maybe I shouldn't have tried those GFIs without a reroll. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. He's on the LOS though, so he might he might meet his maker this turn. Oh, there's the rock. I guess the good thing is I'm likely to have two uh, two fame at the moment. We only won that time, but decent chance to have two fame, isn't there? Wait, Borak's off the pitch. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he really doesn't want Borak to steal star player points. This Microsoft's fucking search index thing is such so fucking annoying. Borak knows what he did. He's in timeout. <laughs> right, the objective of this half an hour is to not make any dice rolls with the good players. Glorious. Oh, Brando. <laughs> yeah. What it's funny going from, going from August to Woody's is is a bit of a difference. Still only made one leap with this team, just quietly. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Jan, you knew. <laughs> yep, could have could have lost a lot more players here. But then, if obviously if if he did if he was doing that, I wouldn't have wasted my apple on a just a dodge guy. So. If he was still a player, I mean, it was still a player that had fucking died. So.
I didn't hate the apple usage. Yeah, that's a true tea swizzle. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. That was really bad when I forgot the tree, wasn't it? Well, imagine if you'd failed that dodge, you'd have given us a GFI to hit the ball. Right. First of all. <laughs> He wants to go there, doesn't he? So that he can blitz there and stay where he is afterwards. And he can go for the dodge. And he can go for the dodge. That's good. That's good enough for me. Oh, I smell fear. Yeah, absolutely. Apple's gone. That's it. Time to retreat. Yep. Yep, me too, Thor. See, this is why I didn't want to sack anybody. And sure enough, I, I, someone died the, the game after I sacked somebody. You know? That's why I really, really didn't want to sack anyone. Probably shouldn't have. I was on 140 as well. I didn't need to. I didn't need to. I wanted to wait until I went over 150 so that I had to spend some of it. So it was less of a loss. I should have, should have stuck with that. Nickel's absolutely way worse than minus movement. <laughs> We should play a little bit faster. <laughs> can get a throw. Oh, yeah, that's true, Lil Baz. Yeah, that's true. So it's not so bad, actually. Yeah, I can get a throw. Yeah. It is a jump up chaos for you, yeah. <laughs> Some people would say a jump up chaos warrior was shit and rock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no, I'm going to have to make dice rolls with the good players. Fuck. Tom Brandhill. Oh god, yeah. Oh actually yeah, I think I think <laughs> I think that's absolutely fair. Tom Brandhill for the throw is brilliant. <laughs> really nice of him. That was really nice of him making that manoeuvre there. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess. Um, if you're a jump up warrior, then I guess, yeah, go straight for piling on, yeah. But obviously it's better to not, not have a jump up war first, <laughs> in my opinion. I it might I might not. All, all I've got to do is a two dice block with block, and then I can chain chain the ward answer free, can't I? With him moving that guy in there. Actually saved us. Saved us rolling dice.
I guess he's the most important one. So he gets he gets full protection. Whereas these guys just get partial protection. One in twenty seven is about the same as one in thirty six. So let's let's do these one in thirty sixes first. No, it's, be it's better, isn't it? Because I, I can use the loan or reroll. Perfect. Use that grab. Three nil versus our watch. Well done. <laughs> I'm not letting him score. He's still got a blitz. Somebody feel like maybe I should have actually just completely let him score. Um, I mean he's got a blitz. Somebody if he wants to score. So maybe that's a misplay on my part. Maybe I should have completely just let him score. The only important thing was to screen these guys. So yeah, this guy probably should have uh, just gone over the side here and just have fully let him score. Yeah. Just, it doesn't matter, does it, now, if he, he can't score two? He'd probably still bit somebody anyway, though. Even if he didn't need to. How will bleeding hit me, by the way? He's a, he's a bastard, isn't he? You know, he's... <laughs> I say he's a bastard. <laughs> I don't mean the coach. <laughs> Black Ost. <laughs> I just mean... <laughs> the fact that I have to roll dice is a bastard. When you say, what a bastard, isn't it? That's, that's what I say, anyway. Like... Oh, what a bastard, I just stood my toe. Looks like he's let he's let he's let the boys escape here anyway, doesn't it? It would have been cool to have got the catcher on the halfway line and then you know, stripped the ball and passed it to him and scored on the last turn, but no need for that, is there? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, yeah. Uh, um <laughs> Indeed it don't tell us, yeah, you gotta you gotta know when to when to just <laughs> self preservation. Obviously, you don't get to do it with chaos and stuff, do you? But with elves, with elves, you often get to. Make a blots.
tree fowl or not? No. But tree protect. Yeah, this is resin down to pixel hook. Probably would have won five nil. <laughs> Tree foul and all balls, sorry. If I foul him, he might foul me, that's the thing. I've done that before, I foul for fun on turn 16. Or turn 15, and then they foul me back and kill somebody. I'm in full, full pixel hugging mode here. <laughs> Full pixel hugging after after using that apple on a on a mere six star player point guy, and then a ten star player point guy died. Oh man! Oh, badly hurt. Thanks God. <laughs> Skill this guy up. Yeah, there's no need, is there, from Devil? 2-1, 2-0, doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Should have treated that. Might have got sent off, though, and then if he got sent off, maybe he could have blitzed, you know, somebody. So, it's okay. I mean, it could have been 3-0, obviously. Inarian would have won that 3-0. Um, but if I had tried to win it 3-0, um, then I would have probably had another death. And it probably would have been the Movement 10 guy. Oh man, double one for winnings. I knew I shouldn't have sacked a player. I knew I really fucking didn't want to sack anybody. And I just did it anyway. And then the death spiral might start to begin now. Don't even have enough for the thrower. Right, three levels is pretty good. No way, BZL. <laughs> Holy shit. Should have reported him while I was playing and then uh, got a free win. Right, so at least level two players up to, to account for losing two block guys. No need to sack him yet as well. I mean, I probably won't use him with a nickel, but never mind. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I'll replace the block. No, I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that the team isn't in a bad place, but if I hadn't bought that catcher and sacked a player, I would have had 160k, and then I could have sacked the guy who actually got injured, and then bought that catcher, and I would have 80k in the bank instead of 10k in the bank. If I, you know, or I'd have 12 players instead of 11. I think I have to go back up to 12. So. You know, it just basically meant I lost 70k, didn't it? Which is... Which is a bit shit. But, um... Anyway. It's annoying because it was just my choice, you know? That's that. That's why it's annoying, isn't it? If people die, you can't really help it, can you? But when I just sacked a guy... Ugh. Um... Yeah, Nigel. Yeah, you can absolutely afford them, yeah. Especially as they die a lot. I mean, it's a good luxury to have, isn't it? I'd rather have more. I'd rather have that reliability. And uh, obviously, you want it at high TV. 
which these are getting towards. <laughs> I'd definitely rather have a bench than not. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.